Hey guys, it's Piet Levy, music writer for the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel at tapmilwaukee.com. I'm extremely excited to be here with one of our must-see Summerfest picks for the whole festival, X Ambassadors. Guys, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having us, man. Yeah, it's, it's great to have you guys here. Uh, I've heard the album VHS, which is streaming now on iTunes, and it comes out next week. Like, what's, what's going through your mind as you count down to the day that your debut full-length comes out? Man, honestly, like, we're just trying to keep our heads down and, and just get get to it. You know, we, we've been working towards this uh, our feels like our, our whole lives, you know, since we started our band in, in seventh grade. So, uh, yeah, it's a big moment for us. We're just really excited about it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, yeah, we can't wait for the world to, to hear it. The response has been pretty good so far. So, yeah. Yeah, well, you guys have gotten a ton of amazing traction already. I mean, they're talking about like Jungle was remixed by Jay Z. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, tell me, tell me about that. Like the fact that, you, you, like you said, you were doing a band in seventh grade, and Jay Z is now remixing a song for you guys. Like, it's just, what's going through your mind about that when that happened? Oh man, it's pretty surreal. It's, it, I mean, uh, it's a dream come true. But. Uh, you know, in today's day and age with music writing uh, and technology, it, everyone can really work remotely as we do in our band. So it's, we've never actually even met uh, a lot of these amazing artists that we've collaborated with, we've only met them through through the internet, you know, and through working with them remotely, so. One band you guys have met uh, is Imagine Dragons, which is, uh, you collaborate, I think that might be my favorite song on the album, is a song that you do with them. Oh, cool. And, uh, you know, tell me about, like, working with those guys, and they, and I think they introduced you to your producer and all of that, so tell me about working with Imagine Dragons. They've been great, man. They've been kind of like a big brother band for us. Uh, they they uh, were the ones who brought us to the attention of Alex the Kid, who eventually signed us. And they took us out on tour a bunch of times. And, and they've been so supportive throughout this whole process and executive produced the record. And, and yeah, I mean, like they're they're like us in a lot of ways. They've been they've all been doing it for a really long time and are all all pretty good friends. So obviously that's a, that's a cool thing that's happened. But another cool thing is, uh, you know, Renegade, it's, it's becoming such a big hit and uh, you know seeing you guys in like a Jeep commercial kind of like driving around to your song and stuff and and hearing that in the commercial like what's it been like to like be on this big ad campaign have you gotten good reactions from like people that knew you in seventh grade family like what's that like to like see you in a Jeep commercial yeah definitely all the old friends are coming out of the woodwork <laughs> from from back in the day but it's really exciting for us because it just gives us a platform to kind of advertise our song in addition to the car and the commercial the first like version of the commercial really focused on the band a lot yeah. which was awesome it was kind of like a commercial for us which is great <laughs> yeah. so uh, is that your idea like you should do a commercial about us no I, I mean i wish i we could take credit for that idea it's a great idea you know anytime they want to base a commercial on us we think it's an yeah, awesome down. idea. <laughs> and to the fans who've been like requesting it at radio stations, and, and uh, the fact that we got to number one on alternative in the country yeah. is pretty insane. We've never had a number one before, and and uh, yeah, you know, the fact that all these stations got behind it and, and people are getting behind the song is, is really incredible. Cool. What's been the, the coolest experience so far, and, you know, with this whole album cycle, Casey? Like, what, what have you loved the most about this experience, this ride? With your brother, with the guys. I mean, touring is always my favorite part. You know, as, as as you go and as you know, your band becomes more and more successful numbers-wise. It you know, it, it's it's awesome, but it's still all just numbers. What really brings it home to me is when we're actually playing shows in front of audiences who really kick ass and who love the songs and are really enthusiastic. And it, it just it, it you know, it makes music, you know, a joy again. Whereas you know, a lot of times you get bogged down and you know worrying about you know getting to the top or worrying about the presentation of the band or you know this and that and then you get to uh, to just play live and it's you know you take all that away for a minute and you just get to see what people you know like how they react to your songs you know which is the purest you know at least for me the purest type of uh, enjoyment I can get well X ambassadors thanks so much have a great gig thanks for chatting with us yeah. and best of luck with the album and everything Thank you. Thank you. Cool.